<laughs> so um, why are you laughing? It's as well we don't mind going slow, but I hear about two, two and a half hours. <laughs> the marine is just over there, I can see it. <laughs> we must have come nearly, oh, mile and a half. <laughs> well, I was just uh, curious to how much uh, mileage we'd actually done this year. And um, it's ridiculously small. It's only 376 nautical miles. Um, that means we need to do at least um, 250 to be on the safe side nautical miles to at least achieve one of our objectives of the year. Sailing round Ireland went south. <laughs> But if we can at least do the 600 nautical miles, that would at least sort of say, yes, we've achieved that. <laughs> but at 376, we're a bit short. So um, Bev and I will have to just do another trip this year and um, see where that can take us. that um, we had sorted out our um, impeller problem with its oil leak but clearly we have not just look at it down there well it just looks like it's gonna be added to our winter project list you know what it's like you have a winter project list on a boat is always full and ours has just got bigger <laughs> Well, why are we sailing to Bangor? Uh, because we can. <laughs> but right, why, why do mountaineers climb mountains? Because they're there. Um, hang on a second. I'm hand steering at the minute. There's quite a bit of swell coming in from the uh, North Channel and the Irish Sea. So uh, we're just on a tack. It's a nice day. It's gusty. But, you know, we can get what we need at Bangor. And yeah, we could go to a shop. We could go back to Andy's stores at Monkstown or you know, things like that, but it's much nicer just to have a nice day sail, keep back in the groove, keep in practice, things like that. You know, go what are we buying from Manga? Just diesel and gas. But, um, you know, that's all we're going to do. You know, have a word with the marina staff that we spent six months with and things like that. You know, it's just, it's a nice day out. And it doesn't hurt to keep your hand in, in uh, manoeuvring the boat and sailing the boat and trimming the sails. So why not just just do it? Well, Bev and I sailed across to Bangor just because we could. And um, yes, Carrick does have a fuel pontoon. Uh, but because we wanted fuel and gas, and you have to go up to um, Andy's stores in, where is it, Beth? Monkstown. Monkstown uh, to get gas. You know, I just thought, why not do the two together and get gas, see some people that we know from here, the, the guys down here at the marina, just have a bit of a gossip, all that kind of stuff. Um, I... Um, brought us in and um, when I'm on the helm bringing us in one little ab adaptation I have to have is I have to have the spray hood down because <laughs> the problem is the spray hood is right in front of my line of sight so other than that you know y you just have to do lots and lots of different marinas and that's what I'm practicing again Yeah, because you can just about I see. Can see the windrows. Yeah, but can you see the pilot boat just there? Oh, 
I know. I'm I might just even see the ladder of the pilot will come down. <laughs> I know. It's just difficult to sort of like show it in the video. Okay, 10 degree course change. 20 degree course change, sorry. Well, Beverly's just um, cooked a pot roast in uh, Mr. DL Thermal Cooker. Um, so um, if you want to see the pot roast, um, we'll have a, a link over to our Cook's Tour Afloat. We've renamed our channel. <laughs> um, Cook's Tour Afloat. Um, and um, the nice thing about Mr. D is he's going to get on with the cooking while we unfortunately need to get on with the rest of the prepping for going off tomorrow. A bit more shopping's done. So me and the bilges are going to get together and you know just sort of like soup some beans we seem to eat an awful lot of that. You don't want to be downwind of us do you? <laughs> Definitely not. Our digestive system works absolutely great. How's the relabeling going? Well it's just a job that has to be done because um uh, when it's in the bilges, um, the labels just go to mush anyway. They just absorb any moisture, don't they? They just absorb all the moisture, they go to mush, you can't read them, so you have to uh, label your cans and get rid of the paper. Also, not that we've got any cockroaches, but if you do have, have any insects on the um, board, um, apparently they love the glue. Uh, between the um, paper and they lay their eggs there apparently. Didn't know that but there you go. Well they won't be laying their eggs in this. No they're not laying their eggs in tea. Okay well I'm just putting more tins away. Just uh, boat life. <laughs> boat life's not going too well. Why don't you take the... Uh, that's it. falling again so um how uh how have we improved on our close hauling Beverly and how how have we done it well our close hauling is closer than it's been for well probably since we got the boat to be honest um the old RYA sail trim book had plenty of hints and tips and the reason I'm bobbing around is because there's a sailboat on the other side of my Jenny and I'm trying not to ram the thing but um so yeah, we are considerably closer to the wind. Uh, used to be back when we got salty last, we rarely got closer than about 60 degrees to the wind, but now we can get up to 40 or 30 degrees to the wind. It just depends on the wind and the conditions. At the minute we are about 40 degrees off the wind and that's just to keep the speed up. I could take us tighter, but if I do that, we'll just go slower and I'm keeping maneuverability so I don't ram the boat, which is just off my starboard bow. One of the reasons AIS is so important to us is <laughs> Belfast Lock is full of lots and lots of ferries. Just to keep me happy. Whoa, man! So why are you laughing? It's well, we don't mind going slow, but I hear about two, two and a half hours. <laughs> the marine is just over there. I can see it. <laughs> we must have come nearly oh mile and a half. <laughs> The wind is absolutely bang on the nose of the way we want to go, and so we're tacking back and forth. We are making progress. We have come easterly, but it's it's a slow old go. Yeah, and the swell is slight verging on moderate. It's not particularly pleasant. 
But, you know, say la vie. So, we are going the right direction. We are going slow. And we are definitely going slow. Uh, oh, oh, here comes a nice big roller. Woo! <laughs> You have the side on, because that's why they're tricky, but whoops. And um, although we have the sail up, occasionally that roller's big enough to move the boom. And that just that just shows you, you know, we've got a reef in the main that slowly moves the boom. So, yeah, not particularly pleasant. Close and personal to Pog and Jetty. <laughs> or at least it gives you something interesting to look at against the um, horizon. So, Gainer, what's the temptation of the corner? I want to go that way, but um, if I do, then I'm heading straight into wind. Um, so, you know, you've got to work with the wind a lot more. We've been tacking like mad and we're hand steering just because we can hand steer. And also it's good practice. Surely we're hand steering because there's flipping great swells coming in. Uh, yeah, there is the swells um, on on this tack it's not so bad um, this is the northerly tack but on the um, tack that's going out that way um, you're actually tacking into them <laughs> so you're having to sort of like um, uh, steer at an angle to them because um, you should never uh, steer at 90 degrees to your um, to the waves that's what gives you the slamming effect but, but if you mitigate the waves by sailing a little bit at 45 so what you tend to do is you sort of like going on your course and then you see a roller coming in and you're like no I've got to take off um, obviously you're taking off um, the reason I'm saying that is because that's um, my hand gesture I mean is that um, that would be taking us more onto a beam reach Is that a special sailor hand gesture? No it's just the fact that that was the way that we were falling off <laughs> you know to fall off the wet the waves but even so i still slammed beverly a bit <laughs> she was like whoa girl but you desperately won't round that corner don't you i do i can see it it's over there but it's not gonna happen you know you can you can see it you know where you want to go but unfortunately the wind is exactly where that is and i don't want to put the motor on what's the point of that no, we'll put the motor on for the last mile or whatever it is to get past the Harbour Authority. Uh, yeah, but that's just the Harbour Authority. Um, but no, it's good practice to hand steer. If you wanted to motor, we'd buy a motorboat. That is true. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, you do sometimes you just do things because you can do them and it's good practice. turn up for the books. Um, very first time we've ever had our pots clamps, <laughs> clamps out because we had a um, soup under passage. Um, we nearly didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but we're now having soup yet again for dinner. Yep. Well um, the pot roast we did yesterday um, has made us um, soup under passage uh, as well as uh, soup now here and uh, we've also got a beef sandwich and i don't know why but when you're sailing that seems to be enough really um it's just you don't feel as hungry and um i think what it is is people sometimes eat from boredom and you're never bored when you're sailing maybe that's it but i'm quite happy as i say uh the pot roast has done um soup under passage we've now got for tea 
just a beef sandwich and another bowl, mug of soup. And to be honest, I'm going to be very happy with that.